this week on The Given Right. Michael and Kenneth are in Kansas hunting the heart of the rut. Same thing, this buck come cruising through, boy, we hit it with the little, little love muscle, son. I throwed everything at him but the kitchen sink, but he didn't like it. Jacob, 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 right there, right there. Big deer, big deer, freaking. Michael Waddell, you ain't the only one that can shoot a big one in Kansas. The life of a hunter. It's not about an end result. It's about a journey. A journey to find who we are. To discover where we've come from. It's an effort to overcome challenge and adversity. We provide food for the table while fighting to restore the foundations our forefathers have laid. They may bend, but they will not break. And so we fight with a heart of respect. You see, it's not an effort to look down on anyone, but rather an effort to look back at where we've come from, and most importantly, where we'll be if we don't. You see, it's our life. You can stand with us, or you can stand against us. But the life of a hunter is our DNA. We've all come from hunters, and so we continue to move ahead as hunters. You see, this is who we are. This is our creed. This is our life. This is our given right. Kansas has a reputation of being one of the best places to hunt whitetails in the country, and it is a destination that many dream of reaching. As a hunter, we all seem to be searching for something when we are in the woods. Some may search for peace, some may search for that elusive buck, and others may search to rekindle a friendship that has been stifled by the craziness of life. The best thing about hunting is that you have the choice to search for something, and when you find it, there's no better place to be at but in the great outdoors. This spot right here is really cool. Mark actually come in here and hung this stand. And the reason why he showed me on an aerial photograph, there's a big crop field out in front of you right here. Got some real brushy draws coming into here. CRP in behind you right there. So these bucks normally will bed right in here. And you come to the stand this way, perfect wind blowing right here. We'll see what we got here this year. This should um, be good. Yeah. I think, uh, I think I'm going to pour the rest of this out and uh, we'll let that hang for a day or two and see what we got and they come in here and hunt. We can have dinner tonight and watch and see what they're doing. <laughs> That'd be fun. <laughs> <laughs> While Mark and Kenneth are getting another spot ready on the farm, Chris is in a different location to see if he can get an opportunity at a mature buck. Got a seven pointer we need to shoot. Um, a deer we call Christmas, which if we see him, you'll figure out why. Um, and probably a doe. And these O's and all of the above are on the dead list tonight. Chris gets settled into the blind and does start funneling into the field. It's the peak of the rut. And when you see a doe, a buck is sure to follow. As the sun starts to set, Chris spots a big buck on the edge of the field.
the hot doe in the area, this buck is doing everything he can to show her who is the boss in this food plot. He just needs to make one mistake and get in bow range of Chris. As the buck slips behind the blind, Chris doesn't get a shot at this giant whitetail. As another night closes, Chris can only hope he gets another opportunity, a different day. So, here's the deal. The first two weeks in November, in the Midwest, you need to be in a tree. I can't think of a better state to do it in than the state of Kansas. Not only was I in a stand, but my buddy Michael Waddell was right down the road from us at the Hooray, and he was having some pretty good luck of his own. Oh! Oh! oh. The anticipation is that of Christmas at eight years old. Santa Claus coming down the chimney. It's, it's maybe a big old buck walking through the CRP and little angles and areas. Me and Nick come out here in August and hunt some stands, and now we hopefully get to take advantage of the fruit of our labors and our excitement of hanging them back then turn into bloody tags. I love it. With the cold front moving in and weather conditions being ideal, Michael is hunting in Kansas during the perfect time. We got a really good 10. We got a lot of nice eight pointers been showing up. I pulled the card. That 10 looks like the biggest deer, but man, he's nice. So first night getting a rut hunt kicked off here in Kansas at the Hooray. My buddy Eric Dunn's in the stand, T-Bone's in the stand, Nick will be here tonight. My favorite week of the year, for sure. Michael barely got situated in his stand and deer were already on the move. As a mature eight point makes his way through, Michael spots something in the brush below him. Yeah, that's our deer for sure. out in Kansas. Unbelievable. Lights out in Kansas. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? This has been unbelievable. That buck we caught him cruising and I'm telling you right now he was bristled up. We caught him cruising down through here. He pointed at the same thing. This buck come cruising through while we hit him with the little little love muscle, son. And let me tell you something. We just cooked him, son. We cooked him. I couldn't lay off of him. That's a mid-160s, probably. He might be better than that. He could be 170, but he's a huge, mature, big 10-pointer. He was the target buck for this particular stand that Nick and I hung in August. Thank you, Eric Dunn. Thank you, Hooray. I guess I'll be the man who skins out the bucks the rest of the week. But oh, what he's done first afternoon in Kansas. Good, good, good. That's a great, that's a big bug. I told you, that's him, that's that big 10. Oh my, look at that. Smell of victory right there. As Kip Campbell would say, red arrow. <laughs> yes, sir. Oh my, what a huge body. 
monster fuck. Are you kidding me? Planning an entire year around one week and having everything come together is a great feeling and one hunters always look forward to. Now Michael will be able to enjoy the fruits of his labor and cheer on the rest of the Bone Collector team as they are out trying to accomplish the same thing. I'll be the old camp cheerleader. Ha <laughs> camp cheerleader. Hunting with archery equipment takes a lot of time and a lot of patience. So Kenneth makes sure any chance he gets, he's practicing and putting in the time, making sure everything is working properly. And there's a big 10 point that's been in here the last four days, morning, afternoon, morning, and afternoon. So we're going to go in here just like we did last year. And hopefully he walks out just like that big nine point did. Looks like I may have done that interview just a little bit too soon. <laughs> one good deer earlier and then that what is that Jacob Jacob Jacob, Jacob right there So my lucky spot has not paid off this year. I have not had a buck in bow range this afternoon. That is pretty much the end of day two in Kansas. We uh, we saw one good deer earlier and then that. And then all of a sudden, I hear footsteps. What is that? Jacob, Jacob, Jacob. Jacob. Right 
history just repeated itself from last year. I can't believe it. We're sitting here, sitting here talking about where are we gonna hunt in the morning? And all of a sudden we hear walking and here comes a big 10 point walking up right here and walks to the, I'm telling you, he's standing almost in the same tracks where I shot that big nine point last year. We just smoked him. He just fell right there. Thank you, Lord, thank you. We ain't got to worry about where we're going to go tomorrow. We are tagged out in Kansas, baby. Boom, boom, boom. Michael Waddell, you ain't the only one that can shoot a big one in Kansas. <laughs> Look at that. Holy cow. That's the way you want them to look right there. Wow. That, that dead ringer, nasty. Holy smokes, everything I have shot with that thing, it has opened them up. Look at that arrow. It is absolutely covered. I see, turned and went straight this way. Let's see. Let's just cut right here. Deer's laying right there. He's right there. He can go 25 yards. <laughs> Whoo! <Whew. laughs> Holy smokes. Jacob, look at this deer. Good grief. Big old neck. Just a big mature body. Good grief, all rubbed up. He was a fighter, no doubt. Broke up, big mature deer. I don't know if I ever killed a deer in my life that had a head this big, including Canada. Unbelievable. Now I'm sure Mark is not gonna believe that I shot a deer out of the same exact tree that I did the year before. So instead of calling him, I'm just gonna take the deer to him. We're gonna go in here and mess with Mark and Craig and them for a minute. Pull up right here, they probably already eaten. You know that uh that big bully ten point that's been coming in there? The real heavy one. Got a short uh the, his head looked like a bulldog. Like yours. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that neck on that thing. Look at the body on Son. the man. Son! <laughs> you didn't call me. I know it. We wanted to mess with you. When do we Lee, get to rename Kelly, it? Kelly, Lee, yeah, all right, we can rename it. We can rename it now. Baba. <laughs> That's the Ken Lee tree. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> I think we, you know, I, seriously, we got to give credit where credit's due. Where's Craig at? Yeah, where Craig? Here. Come on in here. Craig, come here. <laughs> yeah. <thank> you. <laughs> look, yeah. you know. You know that's my tree stand. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I you said know, that. Look, that's you know, look, you know, you know where the nine point that I shot last year was standing? Yeah. This deer right here, I am not kidding you, his hooves had to have been in the same place when I stopped him. I said, Meh, and he stopped and I was like, he's in the same place, I know that spot. Oh, yeah, you deadly know. Kansas has always been good to us in more ways than one. And the common bond we share as hunters is one of the strongest you can share with a group of people. Even when you're in different parts of the state or even the country, hunters all share a special connection being in the outdoors. For Kenneth and his friends, they get to spend the night celebrating what has been a very successful trip to Kansas. This just goes to show we should never stop exercising our gift.